Remove the anti-dumping rod before use. Otherwise, it will cause excessive noises and damage the air compressor. Connect the main power supply. Then connect the humidifier and the ventilator main unit power supply. Connect the oxygen concentration sensor. Connect the oxygen concentration sensor. Following the showing steps, do not connect the round tube and do not mess the tube position and the steps odors. Bacteria filters must be used, for it can prevent blockage of the pipe. Also, it can ensure that the ventilator is clean. The first step is to power on. Block the circuit with hand. Meanwhile, wait for the machine's self-inspection. This self-inspection has one test, the sensor detection. After powering on, we shall select the mode including adult invasive, adult non-invasive, pediatric invasive, pediatric non-invasive, under the standby condition. In order to enter the standby mode, press the system setting knob. To calibrate the oxygen sensor, enter the standby mode, then press the setting management. Then adjust the shift knob to the IFI 2 Press and the machine will automatically recalibrate the sensor. User can select the ventilation mode, adjust the parameter value, and set the PIP by using a tap on the shooter node. The parameters of, of O2 remedy located on the second page of the parameter setting. The user can adjust the oxygen flow in this mode. The selection of the nebulization located on the second page of the parameter setting. The detection value contained with upper and lower limits, which can be changed in the parameter setting page. Click the system management, then choose the loop item. Click to confirm. Then the loop will display on the screen. Uh, to get more monitor parameters, click the, the system management, then choose the monitor. The parameters will display on the screen. In this case, the cause of the alarm is low gas source pressure or air source pressure imbalance. Check the air compressor and the air source to remain in the 280 to 